Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 46 of Learn Lightroom 5. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you could cross-process an image in Lightroom. Now, cross-processing was a darkroom technique where you would take the wrong chemicals to process film. For example, you might use the chemicals meant to process color slides to process colored negatives. And very often this would give an interesting color shift to the finished product. I chose this image of the boat with the blue sky and the water because there's a lot of blue in it. And a lot of cross-processing techniques that I've seen really kind of shift the blue a little bit towards green and it gives a real cool look. So I want to duplicate that look with this shot. Now, this is a raw file. There's not a lot of processing I have to do normally. Um, it's properly exposed pretty much so I don't have to mess with exposure. The shadows aren't real dark. The highlights aren't blown out. So by all means if you're doing an image and your shadows are very dark don't you know open them up. If your highlights are blown out rain them in. Do whatever you need to do to get your image looking relatively balanced. Then after you're done with that what you need to do is take contrast down just a little bit because this look kind of softened the image a lot of times. So we're going to bring contrast down to minus 25 or so. Next we're going to take a little bit of the color out, just a little bit. So we're going to pull vibrance down to minus 20 or so. Again, these are approximate numbers, just you know, dial in to taste. Really now I'm done with the basic panel. Now on this specific image I'd like to bring out the contrast between the clouds and the sky a little more. So I'm going to add a graduated filter and I'm going to pull exposure down just a little bit. Um, I could readjust this if this is too much or too little. So I'm just going to go you know right around here. I'm going to hold the shift key in when I draw down on my graduated filter. That will keep it perfectly straight so it's not going to be going sideways on me. Now um, exposure looks good. I'm going to increase contrast just a little bit and I'm going to bring some more clarity that will help um, uh, bring the definition between the clouds and the sky a little more. Now I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to duplicate this graduated filter by going to the button here and right clicking on it and choosing duplicate from that little menu and you can see now I have two graduated filters, one right on top of the other. But I really don't want one right on top of the other. I want the other one down here. So I'm going to go up to the very top and you can see my cursor turns into that little hand and I'm just going to drag it straight down and you can see I pulled that second one away and it's now down at the bottom. There's the first one and here's the second one. Now I'm going to just pull it up a little more there. So I want I basically want the water in the foreground here a little darker because I want everyone's attention on the boat. I don't want them looking at this pretty plain boring, plain boring water. I want them to look at the boat. So I have this graduated filter down there and you know the exposures down so that serves its purpose. So I'm done with the graduated filter. Now we're going to actually add this cross-processing look and as I mentioned it's very very easy. Go to the HSL color B&W tab go to the middle color tab right here and you can see we have all these little color rectangles right here. We're going to go to blue and as I mentioned blue is often shifted towards green so we're going to change the hue slider to around minus 50 or so. And you can see how it shifted that blue more towards green. It's kind of a really cool look. Um, if it's a little bit too saturated don't hesitate to pull saturation down a little bit. I'm just going to pull it down to minus 23, give it a little more of that film look. The other thing typically is red gets shifted often too. So we're going to, there's not a lot of red in this shot, but we're going to pull the uh, hue slider of the red uh, towards plus 50 as well. Now on this one here I don't really have to mess with the saturation um, because as I mentioned there's not a lot of red in this shot. Now that is it. That is the cross-processing look. And here is before I'm hitting the backslash key on my keyboard. Now not all keyboards have a backslash key. North America does. Um, I'm sure a lot of other countries do. But I do know like a French keyboard does not have 
a backslash key. If you don't, hit the Y key on your keyboard and you can see them side by side. So you can see here is the original image and here is the image we cross processed. I think it's a really, really interesting technique. So I hope that you guys find that useful. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Everyone who comments and, and likes them, I, I really am thankful for that. If you guys could do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd really appreciate that as well. Okay? If you guys have any more techniques you'd like me to show, leave them in the comments below and I'll see what I could do. Alright? I'll talk to you soon.